the children are our future Teach them well and let them lead the way Show them all the beauty they possess inside Give them a sense of pride To make it easier Let the children's laughter Remind us how we used to be Everybody searching for a hero Someone to look up to I never found anyone who fulfilled my need A lonely place to be So I learned to depend on me I decided long ago Never to walk
feel like I go go
Good evening, everybody. I've got the best singing voice in the house. Just let me know where. I'm waiting for Kanisha. Kanisha! Hey, she's not here. She's not last. Right. Say good evening, everybody, Daniel. Good evening, everybody. And who are you? Daniel. And who are you to, to, to the birthday boy? Uh, Randa. Randa. Say, that's my... Randa. That's your granddad. Are you going to sing? Sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, it's not singing it. Oh, sing one, happy two, birthday. Three, one, two, three, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Grandad. Happy birthday to you. Good morning. Good afternoon. 
Sister, please get on with this love with us. I have to get on with it, and I'm so happy for them because they love their dad deeply. So I have to be careful. I deal with him because these girls will beat me up. <laughs> I have too many to answer to. But as I said, that once we have God's love, we live in peace and unity. Okay. Because it looks like a really good union here. 
And I just pray that you guys will just grow to love each other and respect each other. Because what I see here is good. And the Bible says there's nothing that God doesn't do that is not good. So I'm just praying that this will continue to grow from one strength to another and from God's glory indeed to his glory. And ladies and gentlemen, I just would like us all to just stand up at this time. And I'm just going to say a very quick prayer. I know this is probably more of a beautiful blessing, and that is absolutely awesome. But I just want to say a little prayer for all of us here this evening. And just thank God for this time. And this is just a family reunion, I understand. So can we just bow our heads? Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, Father, we just thank you. We thank you this evening. We thank you for the life of Jim. We thank you for the life of the Ferguson family. We thank you, O oh God, that his 60th birthday, his three score years has allowed the unity of this family to come together tonight. Lord, as I look at this stage and I see this platform with these young lives, and Lord, you know the thoughts and plans that you have for each and every one of them. And Father, I just pray that every single one of them will come in alignment, oh God, and will complete the things that you have sent them here to do. We are all here by your purpose. And Father, I just pray even for this family, that they've come out here tonight, that they will begin to understand who you are. Lord, we are living in crucial times. There are things that we are seeing, Lord, that we've once heard about, but now they are our realities. And Lord, I just pray right now that you just cover this family, cover each and every one of us that are here by your precious blood. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that no weapon fashioned against them will be able to prosper. Lord, I pray, Lord, for Jim. I pray for Sandra. I pray for their future years that you will grant them, Lord, Holy Spirit, do a work in their lives that only you can do. And I just pray that you would just surpass them with the things, oh God, that they even thought that they would have for themselves. I pray, hallelujah, you would just exceed their expectation, oh God. And for this family, oh God, I pray, I pray that you will plant a seed in here tonight, that this family will grow from glory to glory and strength to strength. In yes. Jesus' mighty name we pray. So Father, I pray that today will be a new day the 9th of March 2019, this will be a launch pad of something new for this family. And I pray, Lord, that you will just open up their eyes and their spirit, remove every veil, every darkness, Lord, that they can see the good work. Despite the things that we see, that they will see the things that you're doing for them. And I pray, Lord, that you would do the right and the good things for their lives, oh God, and they will be able to see them and respond to what you want them to do. Because, Lord, you said in, in Psalms 139, David taught us, asked you to teach us how to number our days. And Lord, we know they are crucial and critical times. We've got Brexit, we've got things with immigration. There's so much uncertainty, but Lord, the only thing we know is sure and true is you. So Father, we just, Father, we just want to rest in your peace, your knowledge and your understanding. And Father, I pray, Lord, that you will give this to us tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good evening, everyone. I'm here to say happy birthday to Jim. He's a listener and a counselor. And I thank you and I wish you the best. And I hope you live to see many, many more. There'll be watching the past When will there be a time? Someone said, Happy birthday to you, Jim. For the past 15 years, I know you. Um, you never get into an argument with no one. And everything that's said about you tonight, you should be proud of. And um, I would go a little bit further. The way you lead, lead yourself with friends, critics, and um, if you just put the common effort in the world, I think you would gain a lot of souls for the world. The amount of people that I know in you, and if you just convert that to the Lord, the Lord will bless you and keep you and give you a blessing to you. Thank you. Happy birthday. I didn't get you. 
my lifetime, somebody give me help in heaven. That's what made me who I am. But I want to say sometimes people sit in the lane of procrastination and just keep watching what the other person is doing. And that's what don't want to stand up and be accountable for what they can do. Too long we've been hiding behind the bush and there is still what we want the next moment is. But I want to say to you today, I think that this family of mine can do great things. And I want to say to you, at the end of the famous cry, our president said, don't ask what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. I want to say tonight to my family, don't ask what this family can do for you, but ask what you can do for this family. There was a long cry, the president said, Yes, we can. I think that we stretch your mind. We can do great things, and everybody say, Yes, we can. And this family can do great things, and I wanted you to say, Yes, we can. And you say, I feel like I don't see you. Of course, yes, we can. And I want to put you all in notice. This is going to go viral. There's some of the family in Jamaica, America, Canada, all over the globe. Belgium, one of my daughters emigrated to Belgium. She is here tonight. Third and Caicos, all over the place. I want to say that this family can and will move mountains. And I want you to take the walk with me tonight. I want you to believe with me tonight. I want you to stand with me tonight and I want you to go on a journey with me. I want to put you on notice that in 2020, God willing, we are going to go back to that little paradise island called Jamaica. And I want to put all the family on notice here, save your ear fear money. And I want to call to the Prime Minister of Jamaica and say, listen, this family has arrived and we are coming. And we are going to do something. I want to say, listen, Mr. Prime Minister, you're listening to us. We want to create hotels and build businesses and we want to change the whole structure down there. It has been rotten for a long time and something really stirred my guts a couple of weeks back when I listened to a Chinaman who said black people will never come to nothing or black people and he sort of and, I'm, and I go and I'm almost I get ignorant but you know one of the things because I'm a bigger man I didn't get ignorant. I looked and I listened to his conversation. And many of you maybe wouldn't, wouldn't listen to you. From you get um, upset, you would go, I don't want to hear him. And when I listened to this man argument, he said, he can put a black man out of business. If a black man have his shop and he opened a shop beside him, the same black people would come and buy from him and put the black man out of business. And I look back and I go, you know, this man have a point. And I want to say to my family tonight, when are we going to stand up and be counted? And I want to say to those that are in the state, I talked to another cousin of mine, right now I've, uh, I'm in link with about 400 of my family. I was privileged to meet my eldest aunt, Aunt Alvira, when she passed, she was 99. And she said, look, my nephew, there was a time, there was an exodus from Jamaica, 
where there was about four, 12 of them leave Jamaica. Sisters, brothers, some went to Bahamas, some went to Trinidad, some went to Guyana, some went to Barbados, and then all over, and she said, you know, we are end up in Cuba. But she come back to Jamaica. And what I want to say to you tonight is that we want to do something not just here, but also in that sunny land called Jamaica. I think that we can create business in Jamaica, create employment, and I want you to look at this vision of mine. If I'm going to build a house and it's going to take me 12 months to build it, and 12 of you come together with soul, mind, body, and spirit, it will not take 12 months, it will only take one month to build it. I want to say that if we put hands and mind together, we can achieve what people don't think we can achieve. And I want people to look at this great family and say, this family is a great family and take a pattern from this family. And I want people to be zealous of this family and say, why can't we be like this family? So I'm charging you today, here, near, and far. I want you to get together. And I want to start with this family here. We're going to start doing things together, OK? We're going to start going to trips and, and take weekend together. We're going to in each other business and do things together as a family. Because that's what family do. And I want us to stand together and share this vision to make it work. I talked to David, who is in the um, US, and he said to me, Cos, if I can find somebody to be in a bakery. He said, maybe the Ferguson can't, don't have the experience in bakery, but We'll, ex we'll, e we'll employ somebody who has the experience and we'll put on the study. And I'm thinking, sure, true, so true. And that's what I want to say to you today. It's my birthday and I just want to share it with you. And I just want to just share my vision with you. And I want to say that if I does not make it, there was another great man said, I have a dream. I have a dream that one day, if I don't make it, then the younger ones will carry the mantle and say, you know one of the things? My uncle did talk about this. And our grandchildren would talk about it and say, listen, and my grandson here would say, my granddad did talk about this. And carry the mantle. In closing. and I'm gonna cut the cake that you can eat. I'm a cricketer, and if I see a lovely cake with a bat in it, <laughs> and I can see my face on, on a cake, make sure you bite the face and the nose and whatever you hear. Okay, and in closing, I just wanna to say to you that I love you all, and thank you. Yes, in this case, say happy birthday. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay, all right, yes. I just want to say thank you for coming. Thank you for making this evening a success. And may the Lord bless you real good. And don't be upset when somebody have a dig at you. Just say thank God they have a dig at me. And God permitted that they'd have a dig at you, huh? Because God knows that you can bear it, and he knows that the other person maybe couldn't bear it. So, stay blessed and God bless. You finish? Okay, all right. Okay, so people, that, my daughter said people want to dance. Okay, so listen, we'll move the chair for a while, and then you can just go enjoy yourself. And somebody to come and cut this cake. 
and, 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 and disperse it to the others and let everybody can eat. Anyone want to join me up here?
How did it go for you today, sir? Okay, today, today was fantastic. And I just want to say to my family how I appreciate you and love you very much. It is with joy that um, I'm sharing this moment with you. You make my heart fill with joy. And I just want to say to every Ferguson, to every family, I love you with a special love. This I want to say to you, I want to take this vision to another level. I want you to capture the vision, be inspired and be inspired. I want to then reach to all the family right across the globe, Jamaica, Barbados, Guyana, America, wherever you are. I want to say to you, it's time that this great family come together. It's time that this family stand together as united in unity and in love. It's time that this family make a stand 
make a mark that cannot be erased. It's time that we move forward and create business and do great things and help one another. Each one help one. It's time. I don't have all the money, but if we all come together, we can do it. If we put our heart, mind, body and soul together, we can do it. And I'm reaching out to every one of the family right now across the globe. I'm saying to you and to everyone, it's time that this family stand up and be counted. It's time that this family make a mark that cannot be erased. It is time that we stand together in unity as a family and make business. Create employment for our family and others. It's time that we do great things. And I'm putting Jamaica on the map. And I'm saying, listen, Mr. Prime Minister, we're coming to Jamaica 2020. Find the land, we'll, we'll buy it. Get the hotels, run down hotels, we'll build it. We will create business. And I want to say to you that we want to make a mark that cannot be erased. We want to stand together as a family united right across the globe, each one help one. And the most important thing I want to say tonight is that in building, it takes time. But if we come together, we can do it on time. It takes time to, for one to build. But if we come together, we can build rapidly. We can create chicken farms, all we can do poultry, whatever, garages, whatever, we can do it. There's a great president in the USA said, oh yes we can, Mr. Obama. There's another president in the USA said, don't ask what this country can do for you, but ask what you can do for this country. And I'm saying to my family, don't ask what this family can do for you, but ask what you can do for this family. And I want to say in last and closing, to the family, my family who is in parliament right now in Jamaica, your call of vision, your saying to the others, to, to the government, to the, to the local people, I'll give you a vote. Read a goat and build yourself. That's what we want to do. That's what we want to create. We want to create independent people, entrepreneurs. God bless you. God keep you. I love you. And I want you to fly, to fly the flag. Yes, we can do it. And I believe in you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.